here's what's going on in your city today, Monday, June 17, 1996. Over the weekend, a couple of people were arrested for OUI and domestic abuse. Five Acevedt students are headed to Kansas City for the national competition. And the Marlboro Boys and Cl Girls Club hosted their auction. But first, Roy Rector of Hopkinton was arrested this weekend. After going through a red light on Maple Street by the Scrub-A-Dub car wash, police pulled him over. After talking with Rector, police smelled alcohol. When asked for his license, he said that he did not have it with him. After failing the field sobriety test, Roy was arrested and charged with motor vehicle OUI, red light violation, and operating a motor vehicle without a license in possession. In other police news, a boyfriend and girlfriend were fighting near the Piccadilly pub. Witnesses called the police, and upon arrival, only the man was still there. Police asked, asked him what had happened, and he replied that he and his girlfriend had his girlfriend had scratched, punched, and kicked him, and then left with their daughter. Police asked him if he assaulted the woman, and he said no. He also told the police that he was not going to press charges. And Simon and Anthony Muwad were arrested early this morning. The two males were driving on Granger Boulevard when police pulled them over for going through a red light at the corner of Bolton and Main Street. When the officer approached the car, he could smell marijuana. The officer asked the men if they had been smoking marijuana, and they said yes. The officer then asked if they had a bag on them, and they said yes again. The two were arrested for illegal possession of Class D substance. Five Acevedt students will be traveling to Kansas City, Missouri to, comp to compete in the National Vocational Industrial Clubs of America Skills Olympics, June 24th to the 29th. The students earn the opportunity to compete in the national competition hosted by the Educational Association by winning first place gold medals in the VICA Massachusetts Skills Championship in April. The students are Peg Rice of Framingham, Keith Fisher of Hudson, and Colleen Collins, Marnie McElpine, and James McGuire of Marlboro. And it's certainly been a big year for the Marlboro Boys and Girls Club. While celebrating their 50th anniversary, the club has held many fundraisers to help improve the opportunity it gives the youth of our city. Friday night, the club's annual auction and sweepstakes raffle was held at the Holiday Inn. According to Executive Director Ron Young, the auction raised nearly $15,000 in much-needed funds for the club. Young went on to say that the silent auction hosted by WBZ's Paul Zekos raised its $11,000 and the sweepstakes raised another $7,000 to $8,000. After all the expenses, the Marlboro Boys and Girls Club had a very successful weekend. MWRA announced today that it is about to complete construction as a new $6.5 million facility in Marlboro that will help reduce the leaching of lead in drinking water from plumbing systems in older homes. The new facility will add small amounts of soda ash and carbon dioxide to, MR, to MWRA's drinking water in order to reduce corrosion of lead from all old household pipes, solder, and plumbing fixtures. And anyone with flowers and other articles on the graves at Evergreen Cemetery or who know of friends or other relatives that have, they should be removed no later than Wednesday the 19th. This is so they can cut and trim. They can be brought back in about a week's time. Well, that wraps it up for the Marlboro Minutes for today. For everyone here at Channel 30, thanks for watching and have a great night.